Hey, what's up guys? Dr. Cloud here, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And today, we have arrived in Lava Ridge Town. And in the last episode, we had gotten the egg. And I don't know about you guys, but I want to know what's in it. So that's how we're going to start out this episode, is we're going to hatch this egg, and we're going to figure out what's in it. I'm going to use the speed up so I don't waste the entire episode trying to hatch an egg. So I'm going to... Because I honestly kind of want to get to the gym today, because egg probably won't take that long. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to go ahead and like, get the item down here on these ledges. Can I hop back up here? No, okay. I was just curious. Cool, cool. Alright, I'm gonna speed through and get back up here. But I won't speed through trainer fights that I'm gonna go ahead and do to get a little bit more experience. Or fighting the gem. Let me just check real quick. Okay. So my team's like pretty balanced, I just want like a couple more levels on them because I know that eventually the levels will jump on me and I'm not going to be ready for it. Just because I grinded up that first time just a little bit too much, it kind of set me for the rest for these next couple gems. Honestly, if I relied on my uh, stronger Pokemon, I probably would be fine, but I don't want to do that. You know, I really don't think this egg will be anything special. I don't have the best luck with eggs. Typically, end up being something like decent with a little bit of work, but not typically anything amazing. And I'm gonna have to I'm gonna meditate. No, I'm brand bulky, but I thought it was especially bulky for some reason. That tail is going to do a real good job with your pursuit. I don't think a scratch will take it out. Well, no, no, it will, it will, because I, uh, just... Use Meditate. Yeah. Dude, they have, like, level 20, so I feel like gym trainers are probably going to be, like, 24-ish. So I'm actually pretty well on par. I know Beautiful Eye gets absorbed, so we'll probably do a decent amount of damage to me. Also, it stuns more. Which is just annoying. Yep, there's Absorb. Okay, just not too much damage. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I actually need to hit through this process. Yeah, there we go. Bobby. Bobby's here. Alright, so we're definitely going to fight the gem today. I know that for a fact. That's probably how we're going to end off the episode. But for now, we're going to grind up on these trainers, and we're going to try to hatch this egg. And I want to know if I have a per paralyzed heal. Per is heal. Berries it is. I hate that the way they set up berries in the menu is always check tag first rather than use. I feel like check tag should be the option like the bottom right because not that many people use it at this point. It seems like it made sense at the time whenever they were making the game, but at this point, whenever it's been out for, I don't know, is it 15 years? I know it's up there. But now it's just kind of getting in the way because not that many people play a ROM or to do like contests and make berries. I know some people do and that's fine, but the majority of people are just playing through the game for nostalgia and entertainment purposes.
Oh man. Oh man, it's Pichu. You know, it'd be really funny if this, like, Smash Bros, whenever Pichu would, like, hurt itself with electrical attacks. And it made sense, because it's like a baby Pokemon, so it didn't know how to use its powers yet. Which, I know they do in the anime a lot, like, uh, whenever Pokemon, like, evolve or freshly hatch, it doesn't really know how to use its moves very well. With, like, new power or just new existence in the case of Pokemon hatching. I mean, it truly really makes a lot of sense why they'd have trouble using their... I don't want to say magic powers. I guess inherent powers would be the best way to say it. Because, let's be honest, though, Pokemon are basically magic. I mean, they took a different evolutionary chain, but to us, it's like magic. Because if stuff in our world was like this, uh, we would not have the same issues that we do. I'm sure as all you get to Mega Drain. And I'm not extremely confident that I'm going to take this out with one scratch. Yeah. Probably not the best idea. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of asking for that. Anyways. Um. To be honest, it's a little bit hard to care because, like, Bobby wasn't really carrying weight on the team yet. I think potentially could have, but just at the current time, wasn't really doing too much for me. Like, if I was Tamra, it'd be sad, but not for the reason that he's carrying weight, but because I just kind of love Jolteon. You know, I feel like Jolteon should get Twin Needle if he doesn't already. I know it gets Pin Missile, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't get Twin Needle. Not to get destroyed by a Farfetch. I'm gonna go for Quick Attack. Hmm, Camera coming through. Right. So I lost Bobby, you know. I honestly think I'm gonna be alright. Six members is just kind of a lot to hold on my team right now. finish out these trainers and then hatch the egg either way. I mean, who knows, maybe that egg will be the thing I replace uh, Bobby with. <laughs> it better not be another Kabutops, as ironic as that would be. I'm just really hoping for something I don't already have at this point. Like, I wouldn't mind a decent grass type. Metachan is definitely a threat on the field. It's like, what's Bellsprout really going to do to me? You know, Vine Whip me? Wow. Okay, so. That's a little bit annoying. So that's what Bellsprout is, is an annoyance. Not really an issue. Wow. Pro plays. I'll give you that. Pro plays. Yep. Pro plays.
feel like there's a bunch of nothing going on in this battle. Just because... Oh, there we go. Tamarite woke right up. Right after that Medichan died. Let me just get the strength off and it's done. I don't want to get that cut because I kind of want to keep Poison Tail and Arm Thrust because they're actually pretty good moves, but I doubt I'm going to get better normal stab move. I don't feel like the Groth really learns that much. I'm a little bit sad I didn't keep Slack off, but I feel like we've all heard that it's better to go for the healing item than a healing move in Rocks most of the time. Because you know how much healing item is going to do, but you don't know how much the healing move is going to do. I want to go to the hot spring. I want to chill with these old people. Does that heal my Pokemon? Huh. I thought it did. Interesting. Does hot spring not heal your Pokemon? I just thought there was like a bright flash of white and they healed. they change it in Emerald, or am I just thinking of the wrong game? Okay, let's actually just save. I'm gonna go ahead and use speed up here. Saves all some time. I find it very hard to direct myself whenever I'm using speed up. lot of space whenever you get the egg to actually run around, so I'm kind of a little bit stuck between two places. Do you think I can fish in the hot spring? Maybe I'll get, uh... I was gonna say a fire water type, but there's only one of those, so I doubt I'm gonna fish up a Volcarona. Okay, let's just check real quick how this egg's doing. So I'm gonna take some time. I'm gonna go to a place with just a little bit more reach. Okay, come on. There we go. And I feel like I could fly like really soon. Is it, is it in Fortree? Like Steven gives it to you? Because that sounds right in my head. No, no, no. May gives it to you on the way to Fortree City. That's right. I wanna get the cast form! I mean, you get a lot of encounters and like Pokemon given to you in this. Come on. Come on, Eggy. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. I'll go ahead and make my way back up to Lava Ridge. I wonder if I had something with Flame Body that would have made this a lot easier. I don't think so. Come on. Come on. Hatch. Hatch. Sorry for the repeated music, but it's, I really just want this hatch. Come on. Okay, it's about to hatch. Get back on the bike. Come on. Come on, something good, something good, something good. I like it's gonna be a final stage, at, at least. wasting so much of guys. Okay. Egg is hatching.
<clears throat> I was right, it's final stage. That was totally worth the time. Now I've got a shield that I can throw. Mm -hmm. Alright, probably can join bulbs in the rip zone. I'm sorry, I was just really hoping for some things a little bit better. Like, I was thinking a Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet's power would be worth raising up. What's over here? Mmm, no. Alright, let's run up in here. I guess while we're just fighting gym trainers, we can go and ask the question of the day. So, the question of the day is, what are things that you should not say at your own wedding? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, stupid Wobbuffet. Okay. So... What I instantly thought of was, first of all, the wrong name. Okay, the wrong name of that one you're about to marry, you're probably not going to be married. I just got a plain body. This fight's not going well. Um, right, so the wrong name. And I was talking to my girlfriend, and she thought uh, another bad thing is, like, whenever uh, couples have very, like, personal vows that only they understand and everyone else is just kind of like looking at them and not really understanding but they're just saying words up there and I am going to go ahead and double heal this because it's going to be really annoying trying to do that um what are other things My mind kind of goes to um, Family Guy whenever uh, the priest says, you may kiss the bride, and then instead he says, kiss her, I'm going to destroy her. And it's like, no, just, just no. Um, gosh, I'm going to do this thing. It's like, I guess I could hope that he targets the wrong on here, but I think I'm just going to have to go for it. Oh my gosh. Okay, use Mirko. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we, we got this. We're going we're gonna to take it out right here. Tamrat and Nancy team right here. Oh my gosh. It's, it's fine. I can just heal Nancy. Damn right, I guess. Wait, does Destiny Bond affect both, or is it just one? The one turn he actually used his counter. First trainer, that was not fun. Alright, what do you think? What do you guys think about this question today? What are things you should not say at your own wedding? Let me know in the comment section down below. And 
continue watching, please, while I get my butt handed to me by all these gym trainers. Because they have the 23s. Then that means that one of is gonna end up having like a 26. Probably as an ace. And did I start myself in another double battle? Yep. Oh yeah, this kind of reminds me, um, so Macargo's dex entry, I'm pretty sure it's in this game, it says it's like hotter than the sun, so even being near it would burn you into ash, like you would be nothing. But yet, things can still fight it and punch it and make Macargo, you know, not very good. I mean, you wouldn't be able to, like, use water type move on it because it literally evaporated before it touched its skin because it'd be radiating so much heat. You know that was pro plays as I knew, but Tamrat doesn't know any electric type moves. It's actually taking going twice into them again. Unless Nancy has more arm thrust than she did last time. Oh, okay. There you go, Nancy. That's how you do. I think I've got a shuckle from that egg, though. It's one of those times, if you wish you could, like, look into an egg and know what it's going to be, you know you wouldn't actually catch it. Like, shuckle's a wall, and... Good to have for that reason, that reason alone. But past that, it's just not doing much for you. Like, let's do a Shuckle Wobbuffet fight and see how long that takes. Because the answer would be forever. Like, even if Wobbuffet's countering against you, the only move you're really going to use against it is Constrict. And that's going to do absolutely nothing. It would be such a long drawn out battle that people would get bored within the first five minutes. I'm pretty sure it would end up being like a PP stall match. Especially if you had healing items, but all of that just has so much HP and Chuckle has no attack. I don't feel like there's a way where it turn out fast, and that's really annoying. I have nothing that I can hit super effective with. Let's see if it just maybe won't do that constantly. Okay. Turn into a normal type? Hey! Yo, catch this revenge. Good stab rapid spin with that camouflage. Oh, we're definitely gonna have time to fight the gem leader as long as I'm not an idiot and get lost in this gem. Which is so possible. Like, I've actually played Emerald fairly recently, and I still get lost in this gem. I might get lost in, like, Sabrina's gem. Even though it's super easy to get around, you don't even have to fight a trainer. It's just that I get confused by all the jumping around. I'm better with, like, straightforward puzzles. Like, um, Olympia's gym in X and Y was very straightforward, even though it had teleporters, because yours going one way. But I kind of get the way they do it here, too. You know, I'm just remembering, what is my ability? I don't remember what it was whenever I was an Eevee, but... Ooh, that could be very helpful. So if it crits, then I would be in a bad place. But I'm pretty sure my quick attack would take him out. This. Tamarat's gonna be really useful if I can get an electric tech move on him. Because I'm not really helping him out much with what he has. Like, let me look real quick if I have any special moves that he can learn. I know I have Psychic, but I'm pretty sure that's Bullet Seed, and I'm almost positive that he can not learn it. Yeah. Like, if I can get a Vileplume, I will 100% teach it Psychic. 
I think that would be power. Okay, um... What do I have to give to heal my Pokemon? Soda Pop. I have a lot of Soda Pop. I'm gonna go heal Nancy up. I think I'm going the right way, but typically I um, just fight trainers and realize that if the trainers are there, then I'm knocking down potential ways that could be wrong. Or I guess finding ways that could be right. I'm also gaining SP, so... Hmm. Hold on a quick second, guys. I want to see if Agron has a ground type move at this level. I really don't want to lose someone else today. Sturdy. Nope. Does Akron even get sturdy? Uh, yeah, it could have had sturdy. We must have had Rockhead. Dang, Tamarat's just getting leveled right now. Is this right? was. Or maybe it wasn't. Okay, so I've already fought here. Already fought all now. I went in that one, so it must be this one. I'm pretty sure it's just middle ones. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm kinda running out of PP, especially on Jolteon. This one probably a trainer. Okay. I went to the wrong one. Darn it. Or maybe not. No, no, I did. I did. It's just I didn't take his favorite right fine. This is why I typically end up using the trainers, so I don't get lost like I am now. Do nothing. Yep. Hmm, Tamrat. Tamrat's actually been pretty useful, and I feel like stay on this team for quite a while, if I'm not stupid with him. Like with Bobby, I knowingly sent him into a Mega Drain, even though I said that I had it. I just... First of all, I, was, I guess I was hoping that he would be able to take it, and then second of all, I was like, what's he doing on my team right now? Like, Kabutops is decent later on, but right now he's just there picking up space. While I'm already here, I might as well go ahead and heal. Because my PP is getting a little bit low. I will definitely fight the gym leader today. Like, like I said, that's probably how we're going to end off the episode. in there and fight the gym leader. Nope. Let me try that again. Okay. Oh, I can use 
either of those. Go up here. Go up here. Top down. I'm not so drawn up. I am just not good at getting around in this gym. And I'm really realizing that now. Well, not now, I knew that, because I said that I was bad at it in the first place. Okay, let me try this one again. Then I'll go to this far one. Give me like that. Okay, I think if I actually get hit with something, I should do pretty good damage with revenge. Oh, really though? No. Why would you? You already have hyper potions. I think Fluffy has a very bad attack. I mean, I'd love for it to actually use um, Thundershock. There we go. You know, with Volt Absorb, why would I not absorb Thunder Wave? That doesn't make any sense. It's still an electric type move. Beasts are coming after me. I know too much about their history. I know Ho -Oh is enslaving them. Hmm. Alright. Actually, this one might take it out. Wow. Can you spare me again? That's fair. That he missed. 
Oh wait, no, this is ace 29. So I actually am kind of on par. Oh, I mean, I guess I'm working up there. Most of my team's right around there. Okay. So we did exactly what we said we're gonna do. We hatched the egg, got a shuckle. We got through the gym. We found out that Tamrat's a beast. And that we're almost on that we're basically on par at this point. And now we're gonna get the team if I know what this is. Wait, don't I already know what this is? Cause since she can only give you overheat. Yep. Well. Alright guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and let me talk in May's voice real quick. Doc, it's been so long. Oh, while I visited the hot springs, you got your Lava Ridge Gym Badge? You... you must have collected good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it'd be okay if you had this. Oh, awesome. With those go goggles, you'll have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. Wow, challenging gyms. You're trying so hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. Doc, I think you should tra challenge your dim your dad in the Pedalberg gym. See you later. Alright, anyways, so if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And if you wish to know when these videos go up, I will link my Twitter in the playlist in the description down below. It'll also be down there though if you're curious. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so please have an apple.